Hello everyone, this is Mang Sang V from vlemon.com and I am back with another SQL Server 2012 video and in this video we are going to install SQL Server 2012 in our machine. Just for your information, I am using Windows 8.1 64-bit OS and I am going to install SQL Server 2012 32-bit architecture software in my Windows 8.1. So let's start and the prerequisite for this you have a setup disk of SQL Server 2012 I have a setup of SQL Server 2012 SP1 and as I told you it is a 32-bit software so if you are using a 32-bit software you are able to install a 32-bit software in a 64-bit architecture machine but if you are using a 32-bit architecture OS then you are not able to install a 64-bit architecture software in a 32-bit OS let me show you uh, I have to open C drive and if you notice I have two program files one program file is for 64-bit architecture software and another one is program files x86 it is for 32-bit architecture software now let me mount this uh, disk and I am successfully mounted my image and if you are using Windows 7 or other OS you have to use a third party software to mount your image I am going to prefer magic disk because it is free no extra drawback or uh, load on your machine so let's start on clicking setup.exe setups are accepting the setup files in the background so we have to wait SQL Server 2012 please wait Microsoft SQL Server 2012 service pack 1 setup process the current operation and this is the first window of your installation and I am not going to explain each and every link available in this window if you want explanation on all this link I am going to share the blog link and you can visit my blog for further reference if you want to know about all the links for this video I am going to click on installation and then we are going to select new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation Please wait while Microsoft SQL Server 2012 service pack 1 setup process the current operation. Yeah, we are waiting. No issue. And this is the window where SQL Server is checking whether everything is fine or whether our system is meet the requirement or not. So here if you see I have a proper administrator rights I have a proper privileges to install a machine whether my machine required restart or not whether I have a proper .NET framework installed in my machine or not so for me everything is with pass testers if you are showing anything with fail then you can share the warning or error message I will try to reply or respond as soon as possible with proper resolution everything is fine for me so I am going to click on OK and here is the installation window where we have to provide our product key or what type of setup we want either we want evolution or express or we have to provide a product key if you have a product key then you can type it but for this video I am going to install a evolution of SQL Server 2012 now what is the difference between an evolution and express evolution is just one 80 day trial period after that you are not able to use it and express install the all uh, install this database only you are not able to access all the available features in SQL Server 2012 for this video I am going to click on select evolution and click on next now uh, read all the license term click on accept and next 
I don't want any updates during this installation so I am going to uncheck include SQL Server product updates click on next and now install setup files uh, our setup is installing the setup files so we have to wait okay the setup is installing the setup files in the background so SQL Server 2.12 please wait while Microsoft SQL Server 2.12 service pack 1 setup process the current operation no issue we are waiting okay SQL Server is checking the rules for me everything is passed again anything is failed for you then you have to share the error message with me I will try to respond as soon as possible with proper resolution for me everything is fine for me everything is fine so I'm going to click on next now I want all features with default settings and now I'm going to click on next now SQL Server is by default selecting all the features because is my in my previous window I select all features with default settings so everything is by default selected if you select manually then you have to select click on select all and or check the checkbox the services you want let me show you the difference between SQL Server 2012 setup and SQL Server 2014 setup if you notice SQL Server data tools is available in SQL Server 2012 setup but in SQL Server 2014 setup this is not available want to use business intelligence development studio or SQL Server data tools then you have to install it manually in case of SQL Server 2014 for SQL Server 2012 it is already present in SQL Server 2012 setup let me show this in my previous video which I recorded for SQL Server 2014 and in this SQL Server data tools are not available so we have to manually download the SQL Server data tool and install it I think I have the setup in my folder so let me show you uh, my software is available in data documents no I want to change the app drive data documents and softwares SQL server and enter and if you noticed uh, the type and here is the SQL Server 2014 database setup and this is the SQL Server 2012 full feature setup with size 3.2 GB and here is the SQL Server 14 database setup plus SQL Server data tool setup SQL Server data tool setup size is 1 GB approx and SQL Server database setup is 2.5 GB so approx 3.5 GB so combining those these two files is the complete features including business intelligent development studio so for showing this difference I am creating a installation on SQL Server 2012 now we have to click on next I don't want to uncheck anything I want to install everything now again setup is checking for the installation rule and for me everything is passed if anything with file status again you can share the warning or error message with me I will try to respond with proper resolution steps for me everything is passed so click on next now I you can also change the default instance or the name instance I am going to select a name instance and I am going to name it dev12 and I want to change the installation directory for this instance is F drive the reason is my F drive contains 162 GB free space but in my C drive only 10.3 GB is available so I don't want to use this space that's why I change F drive and click on next to continue uh, and again I want to show the 
existing instance or existing SQL Server installation. If you noticed, I have an installation with SQL Server Express Edition 2008R2 and another is Developer Edition of SQL Server 2014. And right now I am installing SQL Server Developer Edition 2012. And also you can check the edition in here, Express and Developer. Click on Next to continue. And now SQL Server Setup is checking the disk requirement. And uh, if you notice, the C drive is going to take 4 GB out of 10 GB. And the F drive, F drive is going to take 2 GB out of 163 GB. Okay, click on next to continue. And it's time to configure your server. And this we have to provide which service which you want to in start automatically or manually. I am going to change everything manually because I don't want this instance to run because I am already using SQL Server 2014 in my machine. And I, I am just showing this video for the tutorial purpose. For you, you have to not change anything. If you want to start anything with automatically, then you can change the start type from manual to automatic. Just remember, don't change anything and if you changed anything then into manual then you have to by default or uh, you have to start all the services manually now for collation i am not going to change the collation because i am like the case insensitiveness in my collation now what is this for explaining this uh, let me open notepad and if case insensitiveness is enable then there is no difference between A and A if CI in place of CI if you see CS or case sensitiveness then not paired A and A are two different characters for me I don't want to change anything in collation so I am ready to move ahead and now I want to configure database engine configuration. In this, you have to provide which authentication mode you want. By default, Windows authentication mode is selected. It means all the user in this machine are able to access my SQL Server. You can also add a SQL Server authentication mode, and you can provide password for your S account. Now. SA is the default username for SQL Server authentication mode and I just now I uh, give the password for my SA account now your users are able to access SQL Server using SA also you can use any other user if you want if your current user is not available then you can click on add current user now I want to if you want to change the data directory then you can change it for example you can store database files in F drive and temporary database file in some other drive for me only one drive is available with enough space so I'm choosing everything F drive for everything I'm choosing F drive so I don't want to change anything in this so click on server configuration and click on next again for analysis service configuration I'm going to add my current user I want to give my current user everything for every services again data directory I'm not going to change anything because my F drive have enough space click on next report services I don't want to configure it manually so I'm click on install and configuration for distributive replay controller add current user okay you can add other user also in all the tabs so let me show you uh, this is you can click on a to and click on advanced to find other user and you can add other user for me I am the only one user available on this machine so I am not able to show you how to add other user but if you want to add other user simple click on add button advanced find now and search for your user and let's say this is the second user on my machine so click on this user, click on OK and you are added your user. 
I want to go back on display replay controller I already add current user so click on next on controller name I am going to give my hung ok it is fine click on next and now I don't want to send any error information to Microsoft or other reporting server I don't want this step so I am not going to check this if you want to send any error message to Microsoft then you have to check this checkbox I am going to click on next and the installation configuration everything is passed for me again if anything is failed you can pass the error message or warning message in the comment section I will try to respond with proper resolution steps as soon as possible for me everything is passed so I am going to click on next now we are ready to installation this is the installation summary you have to check each and everything and if you want to change just change anything right now because in future you are not able to change something in the SQL Server 2012 or your SQL Server installation for me everything is fine I don't want to change anything so I'm just checking or just checking the installation summary ok everything is fine so click on install and now our SQL Server the main installation process is start and it will take some time uh, maybe 5 to 10 minutes or 15 minutes I don't know exact time so we have to wait until the progress bar is completed so I am pausing this video I am I will back once my setup is completed finally our SQL Server 2012 setup is complete and the, all the features is installed with success status so I am closing this window and my SQL Server installation and SQL Server Management Studio is available 55 new apps installed so I have to ok my apps is already ordered by the installed apps so my SQL Server Management Studio is available just here and as I told in this video that SQL Server 2012 by default install SQL Server Data Tools and here it is SQL Server Data Tools and SQL Server Data Tools is not available in SQL Server 2014 setup so let me show you where is my SQL Server 2014 is installed and here it is and where is SQL Server Management Studio here the SQL Server Management Studio and if you noticed no data tools available in SQL Server 2014 so we have to manually install SQL Server data tools everything is covered as a part of this video if you are facing any issue any challenge just leave a comment with proper error message or warning message I will try to replicate it in my system and get back to you with proper resolution if you like this don't forget to subscribe share it with your friends of course it's going to help your friends also thank you for watching and see you guys in my next video